Hi, I'm Diane Badalak. I am an international grooming consultant for the Andis Company. We're here today to show you some tips and tricks on how to shave a poodle's foot. We're using Denali, a white standard poodle today. I'm going to be trimming his foot with the Pulse Ion adjustable blade clipper. You could also use the AGC2 Ultra Edge Clipper with a 10 blade. If you're doing a small poodle, a toy or a miniature, you can use the Pro Clip Ion Trimmer. It's a smaller blade, so it's easier to maneuver into the little dog's feet. Okay, when I shave a dog a poodle's foot, I always start with the back side. I come up and I shave out this little area just above that big pad. That way I can see what I'm doing. So you've got a little horseshoe area there. I like to come up on the sides right, right to the ankle bone so that that sets my, the, how high up I'm going to go on my dog's feet. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean all this hair out from between the pads. And you can spread those toes. You're going to take your pointer finger and your thumb and use your other fingers to push in the center. That spreads the toes so you can get in there and get all that hair out. You want to go in from the sides in both directions. They do have a tendon in there. You want to be careful not to go into this way because that would scrape that tendon. So if you go in from the sides, you'll miss it. Once I get all the hair out of the back of the foot, I flip it around to the front of the foot and I find where I came up on the sides because that's how high I want to shave up on my foot. That way I know I'm not going to go too high up into the leg. Clean all the hair off the top of the dog's foot. I'm using a 30 blade setting on my clipper for this because I like a nice clean foot. The shorter blades help to get all the little hairs from around the toenails. Once I get all the hair off the top of the foot, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my thumb to press down on the knuckles and I'm going to use my fingers underneath to help spread those toes. And I want to use the edges of my blade to go up the inside of each toe. And that gets all the hair between the toes. If you're having a lot of trouble getting all of it, you can use your thumb to slide the skin across the top of the knuckle. Once I get all the hair from between the toes, then I'm just going to lightly go over the webbing and get that excess hair out. I got a lot of that when I did his pads, so I don't have that much in there anymore. And then I just need to go along the nail bed and get those little long hairs which you can pull out with your fingers if you need to. If you're still having trouble getting in there and getting them, you can flip your blade, your clipper over and use the blade upside down. What that will do is the longer teeth will grab the little hairs and pull them out while the shorter blade underneath cuts. 